Does that look mixed good, Maverick? Previously, we primed our wooden ceiling, which was a dark brown, and just made this room feel like a cave. We wanted to brighten it up in here, so we primed it, and now today we're going to be painting. Now, the color we chose for our ceiling is Vanilla Steam. Now, it might be hard to see, but Vanilla Steam, made by Valspar, is almost a beige color, but it's a very... Subtle, it's white, it's like an off-white. I think on the ceiling it's gonna look white, but I think it's gonna be a little bit cozier than a bright white wood. We're gonna see how it looks, and I think it's gonna look cool on the wooden ceiling. We could probably almost roll the paint on. You know paint always goes on a little different than the primer? Yeah. But I'm gonna go with the brush. So we're going old school. Yeah, that's how people used to paint. I think it's gonna come out good. Well guys, I've been working hard getting the ceiling painted and I don't know if you're gonna see it, but I made it about halfway right to here. So this side is still primed, this side is painted. It looks clean. It's looking really good. I'm actually doing a semi-gloss paint on the ceiling boards. I want a little bit of shine to the ceiling. I'm really liking how that looks. And considering I'm using a paintbrush, this finish is coming out pretty nice. I mean, it looks nice and smooth. And yeah, you see some brush marks here and there. I don't mind that. We're going for an old style house here, so it works for me. But I just wanted to show you the best I could, looking at a ceiling, how this is coming out. So you see that little bit of shine there? Looking really cool. Let's see if we can get the wood. That's the close up. And you can see it doesn't actually look that bad. So since this is coming out so good and I have less than half the room to do, I'm gonna keep going tonight. I'm gonna to try to get this all painted. But even with this first coat, it is looking really nice and I'm so happy with it. Okay guys, I just wanted to come back during the day. It's morning time and look at the ceiling. I mean, it looks really nice. I think it looks a lot better. I know some of you guys don't like painting the wood. I agree, I love 
natural wood, but in this case, I'm happy we made this decision. It's not a pure white, it's an off-white. It's gonna be hard to tell with the camera and the lighting and everything, but it's a really nice white. If you wanna look it up, Valspar Vanilla Steam. I think it was the right color for the ceiling. Uh. This is only one coat and it looks perfect. Like we don't see any bleed through yet. That can happen over time, but it looks like a nice even coat. I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna do two coats. The primer and one coat was enough. Now we're not gonna paint the walls yet, but we do have some color ideas for the walls. We might end up doing the trim work in the room, the same color as the ceiling. We like the white, it's gonna look good. We might change that, it's all up in the air, so don't hold us to it. Right now I'm just ready to move on to a new project because we have a lot of work to do around here. I think I have to get outside and start working on the well. All right guys. I don't know if you can hear this, but today I was in the house and I heard a noise outside, so I came out to investigate. Listen to this. Check this out. This is our well tank. This is the well pressure tank. So this is holding water from our well pressurized for the house. It looks like it sprung a pretty substantial leak. That's pretty bad. We're losing a lot of water. The waste of water isn't that bad. It's just the fact that our pump is gonna be cycling a lot more. It's gonna put wear and tear on the pump. And obviously we don't wanna leak in our tank. Now, I did not expect that to start leaking, but I actually did buy a, a new pressure tank over there, the blue thing. And the reason I bought that is because I wanted to relocate. I just wanted to redo this because you can see it's, it's old, it's leaning, the plumbing is lousy, and I wanted to do some well work. So while I was doing that, I was gonna replace the tank. I wasn't ready for this job yet, but I think we have to do it now anyway. So this platform it's on is sinking down pretty low and you can see how much pressure it's putting on these joints. It's, it's not very straight looking. I'm actually surprised that's not leaking. It looks like it's pulling right out of the socket there. Now here is an 86 gallon pressure tank that I just got and this is what we're going to replace it with. But I need a new base because I'm not going to put it on this rotted old piece of wood. So uh, we're going to come up with something new, make a new base, get it put in, and hopefully figure out all this plumbing work. So it's time to replace the system. The first thing I have to do is make a new platform for the new water tank. That platform is shot and we're not going to use it. So. I'm actually going to make one over here next to it. It'll be a better spot for it in the end because we're going to be using a different style tank that has a T. So we're going to come over into it. I think I'll just start digging right here. Now, I did turn off the power to the well because you can see we got a piece of Romex right here, which is a no-no. But we got a piece of Romex going into the ground and I don't know where that's buried. So I didn't want to hit a live wire, turned off the power and we're going to start digging carefully. We're going to try not to damage that wire. All right, we got it down about as far as I'm gonna go. It's about a foot down on the, it's about a foot deep on the back, maybe 16 inches on the front. And you can see it's already filling up with water. That's because we're at the water level back here and also because of this leaking and it's all pouring down in here. So groundwater and leaking. So this is where the new well tank's gonna be. We need the base, so I bought 
a burn barrel. This is what we're gonna use as the base. I decided, this was actually Ashley's idea. She decided that if we got a barrel, metal barrel, we could cut it to the height we want, put it in the ground, use it as a form to fill with concrete. We're gonna make a big concrete base in the ground to put our water tank on. This barrel is just an old honey barrel actually from India. So it used to have honey in it, it's totally clean and safe. It's not gonna matter for what we're using. I'm gonna cut the bottom off, get it leveled up in the hole, and then we can start filling it today and get that base ready. It's gonna be this massive block of concrete. It's never gonna rot. Hopefully it doesn't shift. It'll just sit in the ground nicely. That's what I'm hoping. It'll be better than this old wooden rotten thing that they made. Over. Yeah, all of it. Won't that be nice to have that gone? Actually, yeah, it would be nice. Just fit. No. Yes. No. I'm <laughs> <laughs> blasted. The <laughs> fit. So, what are we doing, Ash? We're just going to be putting dry concrete mix in here because we're already dealing with a lot of water in here. Yep. So... Dry ice. Oh, it's hot in there. I think the tag's gonna be fun. I'd say we grab another bag. Yeah. If there's still water, we have to. Pull it up right now before it's too heavy. That's perfect. Wow. Whoa. Wow. I've never seen one of these before. What kind is it, do you know? 
I remember seeing similar white caterpillars back in Michigan. It has kind of like a greenish tint to it. Mm hmm. He's pretty. With that size, it looks like he's ready to make a cocoon. Yeah. I wouldn't touch these spikes. They look like they could poke. They look pretty soft to me. Neat. Those birds are far away. Uh huh. So you have a scarecrow, a big crow, and then far away crows. Uh huh. The head is because the birds are right. Yeah. It's a creepy face. It looks creepy. Let's see that side. Mm. It's pretty good. Okay guys, it is curing. It's been a few hours and I'll give you a sneak peek. Look at how smooth I got this. Now, all I did was I took this because it's literally the only thing I had. Then I used that just to smooth it out after it started hardening. So this is, you know, a little bit hard to the touch. And I just go over it, smoothing, smoothing, just with that tool. And I'm really happy with how it looks. Now, it does sit down below this lip. It seems to have shrunk a little. Um, I don't like that because I don't want it holding water, but I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna fight this. It's okay if it shrinks down a little bit. We'll just deal with it. I'm putting this plastic over it just to keep it moist while it's curing. But this is a huge job done. You can see this thing is spraying away. So we gotta really get this done quick. Now, 
the barrel you saw this this is almost this is like 28 inches tall so this thing is a huge mass it weighs uh, probably about 600 pounds of concrete in there you saw i mixed some chunks of old concrete in there basically the reason i was doing that is because it takes up space which means less money in concrete but also it gets them off our property we have a lot of this broken up block and we just want to clean up the yard so why not hide them inside this i don't think it'll be a problem anyway so once this is dry and cured we're going to go ahead and put the water pressure tank on there and it's going to be like a pedestal the reason i put it so high out of the ground is because a lot of you guys remember that our yard floods we have high flood water and I don't think it's going to do it often, but it has done it. So we want it to be safe and just keep our equipment out of the water. And that's why we chose to stick this up out of the ground so far. It's going to keep it high and dry. I mean, if anything, I mean, if the water got up to it, it wouldn't be a big deal because, because it also sits on its own plastic base and it's not totally flat. So it'll be fine. Anyway, we made big progress today. Now, the other question you might have is about the metal rusting. That was something I'm concerned about, is how long will that barrel last before it falls apart? Honestly, I'm not worried about it falling apart. If it gets really bad, I'll just cut it off and we'll still have our concrete block in the ground. That's all we care about. The, the metal was just a form. We paid like 15 bucks for it. It was a cheap way to make a big concrete form that looks nice. Two feet wide, I think it was like a 23 inch barrel. So it just worked and it worked perfectly for what we needed it. I was looking in the store for like those, co those uh, cardboard tubes that you put concrete in and they don't make them anywhere big enough. So we just had to think outside the box. We're gonna, we're gonna see, I think it'll last a while though. Another thing I did, which I'll give you a sneak peek right here, is I finished up this side of our house. Uh, I just installed this beam, got this all put in it's not 100% yet. I got to add some brackets on the back side of it and attach it better. But I got this beam in, leveled, shimmed, and I also fixed these piers. I don't know if you remember, but I had a big stack of wood right here. Well, I was able to get to the store, get the blocks I needed. And I also put some copper flashing in here. Copper is going to last a long time and it's going to be the break, the moisture break from the wood to the concrete so you don't have it wicking up and rotting the wood out. I wanted to get termite shields in here, which is metal that's a little bit bigger and it flares down around the block, but I honestly couldn't find them anywhere. I'm still looking. If I can find them someday, I might swap them out, but for now, we'll just have to manually keep an eye on termites and maybe spray something to keep them away. But at least this is a good break from the concrete to the wood. And I did that all the way around. So this side of the house is done, and that looks really good. Let me back up. Um, there's actually going to be a post at the end. I didn't get that one done yet, but that'll come later. In fact, I cleaned up all these posts on the front. I got the copper in there, and I, or I replaced any wood that needed replacing with blocks. And it's just looking really good. I got to, you know, cut some shims, cut some foam, but it's all solid and lovely. And now on the third side, you see, I still got this beam to put in and that's going to be going, you know, right on those piers right there. So that's the last one to do, but we're making progress and at least we got that other side done. So we got the blocks here, blocks here. We just got to cut this to length, put it up there and get it shimmed in and attached. Well guys, I guess we're going to wrap it up now. We got a lot done, a lot of progress made, and progress we didn't expect to make. We had this surprising leak. Actually, it happened while I was painting the ceiling. I was in there painting the room, and while I was painting the ceiling, I kept hearing this sound outside, this kind of hissing noise. I thought it was insects. I thought it was just cicadas or something, but it just kept going for so long. I said, this is weird. I'm going to go out and check it out. Saw the leak. So. That's how it goes. You jump from one job to another and we just have to keep working and getting it done. We were going to do it anyway. Yeah. Now we're forced to do it sooner. We already had the tank. We were getting prepared. Yeah. And the reason we actually want to do that, I don't know if I mentioned that in this video, but 
we want to extend our well out of the ground. We're going to have somebody weld an extension on it to get it, get it up out of the flood zone so that we don't contaminate our well as easy during the floods. So we're going to have a lot of work coming. So thanks for watching and coming along. And we'll be back soon with another video. So until next time, take care. Bye.